Why does Mr. Freeze like this train? Tune in to find out. Hey, it's Brickzar. Today we're looking at a Lego set from 1999, another vintage Lego train set. This is the Mr. Freeze train set 4561. Is it the big Mr. Freeze or the little Mr. Freeze? Actually, you know, it's not the Mr. Freeze train, but that's what I like to call it because of the ice blue look it has. It has those trans light blue windows and has the blue and white. It just reminds me of Mr. Freeze and what he would want to have. This is a train that was very readily available back in the day when it was out, and it still is. I think you can still buy this train for less than retail price. <laughs> Um, it was about $130 retail, and I remember buying these all day long for less than $50 at Walmart. They had just made so many of them. They were overstocked, and it's a great train to get the track and the speed regulator, because it came with a complete oval of track and the speed regulator to make the motor go, and it came with the motor. But it wasn't probably the best design although it does have a lot of cool features ha ah, cool features now one really good thing is you get a lot of minifigures you got nine and they're all different which is really cool especially for 1999 we got the engineer with the yellow jacket we got this shady guy with the the brown jacket it's like a furry jacket this guy hiding behind the camera. Why are you hiding behind the camera? Oh, it's not a guy. It's a woman. I need to get lower where you can see these. You got the little boy. He likes trains. Can you tell? We got this kind of funny glassed guy. He works on the railroad. We got the guy carrying the... His hair is crooked. The boom box and the $100 bill. <laughs> He's not afraid to show his cash. Another train worker, another passenger, and then this extreme stunt girl that's in this set for some reason. So that is a look at your minifigures. You get three vehicles. The guy with the brown jacket's driving this little sports car. He's carrying mail. That's what he's got back there. <laughs> I don't know why. So he's carrying the mail. He's it's got the nice window. This is kind of a hard to find piece. This clear windshield like that. It's flat, but other than that, it's just a simple build. Her car is pretty much the same, except it's yellow instead of black and red. And then the truck. This is the truck driver. He's got headlights there. That's what the back looks like. And it's designed the truck to carry the different cargo. You got several different types of cargo try to show you all of them and they just, it fits up here and they got these little connectors you just click it in like that and eventually you'll break the clips probably there's a hundred dollar bill there's supposed to be a crystal in one of these where did my crystal go I lost the crystal there it is there's a hundred dollar bill and there's a crystal that goes in one of them I guess you can do it however you like. The um, instructions actually show it here in this yellow one. So we'll put it in the yellow one. The crystal and the $100 bill. You got the pizza container. I got three pieces of pizza in there. Uh oh, four. <laughs> I think that's more than it actually comes with. I'm not, I can't remember. And this goblet's in there for some reason. Hopefully it's keeping everything warm. 
the goblet back in there and close it up. It's got pizza, uh oh, sorry, pizza, hamburger, french fries, so it's the food container. And now, this one's supposed to have the suitcases, which I think you put the white and the black one in there. We'll do that. So that's how that goes. And then I got another one here. I think I got an extra. <laughs> I don't think that... Does that even go with the set? I don't know. And here's some more of the cargo. You got this little work area. You got different tools. Oil can. So this is the phone repair stuff, apparently. So it's the exact same tools you get. Actually, it's the same tools you get with every set that has tools. Um, keyboard and clock there. And then you got this Octane thing here. I don't know if it's supposed to be a gas pump or whatever but you get that okay here's the loading gate this raises up and you can drive the cars up and stuff and load up the uh, train we'll bring the train around even though it doesn't have an engineer in it show you the train would be nice you you are going to have a train in your train review yes we are so this is the locomotive and it's just i'm not going to say it's bad but this is how big the locomotive is. It's just a little, it's almost like a little switcher. It's like they compressed it to kind of give you more room for the cargo. It just, I wish they'd given us one like they did with all the other bullet trains. It was a little bit longer. Um, you can take this piece off to see where the engineer sits. He's got a bunch of different control panels, so that's pretty good. You got a keyboard, a TV, and a cash register, <laughs> or whatever. So we can set him in there to operate the train. It's got stickers on these pieces here. I like the chrome accents up here. But basically, it's just a, a motor with a few extra pieces on it. We'll hook up the rest of the train. Now here's the cargo part. You got two different main cars, and they open up like this. So this is the passenger area, so we can put some passengers, but you got room for storage over here. And actually, there's a menu, so I think we'll put the, um, can you see the menu? There, we can put the food items there, and then over here, on this side, they're watching a space program there, and there's room for cargo to go in there. So the way the cargo go, goes in is you can pull that off and we'll put the food items in there since that's the, um, I can't remember which way it goes. No, it doesn't really matter. You can do the cargo however you want. And then on the other side, the back side of the train, we can throw some more cargo in there. And then you lock it into place. And I think this piece, this is a, um, it's not a passenger, it's actually cargo. And this, when I say cargo, I mean it's the cars go in there. <laughs> actually, I guess you gotta take the minifigure out because he won't be riding in there. It's a place to store the cars. So we gotta take, uh oh, her luggage fell out and her legs, I broke her legs. <sighs> You thought you could handle extreme stunts. You're no match for me, extreme stunt woman. If I can get her legs out of there. Yeah, they're in there good now. There we go. I take the steering wheel out to get her legs out. So, anyway, we'll leave her luggage in there. Nobody will steal it. You put the car in like so, and then you, you lift this up, and then you reattach her legs, and that leaves room for more cargo. So we'll just put a few more pieces in here. I need the tools. It's like I didn't have room for everything. <laughs> All right, good enough. Leave something for the truck. Oh, actually, I did have room for it. There's an extra piece I got. So 
So like I said before, you get an oval track. So this is kind of what it looks like going around the oval track. Real exciting, huh? What I like to do is what something they might be bricks did. We had a couple of these um, that weren't complete. Just had pieces to it. And he took one of the locomotives. It didn't have the stickers and the computer. All the, well, it does have the computer. We didn't have all the pieces. And we just gave it a, a back end to kind of make it look more like a complete train. And one other thing about this set, it's hard to find a, the complete set of instructions because of the way they did them. There's several different ways, but this is more like an idea book in here. It shows, let me move this out of the way. It's got different ideas in it that you can build. It has actually has instructions to build the other ideas. So it's not really the instructions for the set. It's just an idea book pretty neat um, like to see that in more sets actually so the actual instructions are like the instructions today except they're not the same size you get for each different car you have an instruction for the accessories there's an instruction for the loading platform another accessories one uh, the cars that's for both of the cars the truck and the locomotive so you get a lot of manuals with this set so that's set 4561, the Railway Express. came out in 1999, and even though it's 15 years old, I think if you were starting in 9-volt trains, this would be one that you could probably get uh, cheaper than a lot of the other ones and have a complete running set. I don't know how you feel about the way the set looks. Uh, if it's something that appeals to you, uh, that's fine. But I just wanted to show it to you, the Railway Express, and now we're going to go have it run in our city. Okay.